All right, so let's talk about serial ports. And when I'm talking about serial ports, this could be an RS-232 port, an RS-485 port, data highway, whatever you have that's serial. We're gonna talk about that right now. It's kind of funny to me. Um, we talked about USB already. We're actually gonna talk about USB again because most of the time, our laptops just don't have physical serial ports anymore. So if we wanna go connect to a machine, we still have to get a USB dongle. So that's the first thing I'm gonna to touch on. Now I have a USB to serial port here and right now my USB is has focus. I'm gonna plug in this USB to serial port. And the first thing that you're gonna notice happens is the same thing you'd expect to happen on, on a physical machine, right? It needs to install the drivers for it. So I'm gonna tell it, no, don't, you don't know where it is because I actually already have the drivers right here on the desktop. And I'm gonna tell you where to install from. It should be right in here, driver. We've got Windows XP. Now I see Windows XP twice here, but notice this one is 64-bit. I have a 32-bit, so I'm gonna click on this guy here. Go ahead and install that. It tells me there's a problem. Well, what do we do every time we have a any device that we need to troubleshoot? We go to the go to the the device manager. Okay, so it did not like that driver. Well, I couldn't tell you why it didn't work the first time. I did the exact same thing and it worked this time. So look at my device manager. I have a USB serial port and I can unplug that device and it disappears. So I know that is the device that I'm looking at. It's installed and happy. And if I double click on it, I can also set up the port, the baud rate and the data bits and parity and stop bits and whatever else I need to set up. If I click on advanced, I can change the COM port number. I can change any of this stuff that I could always change even if uh, even if I didn't have a VM, right? Because this this is not VM specific anymore. Now it's it's just set it up however you would normally set it up to make it work. It is a good idea to keep drivers in mind when you're when you're thinking about what virtual machine to use to connect to what physical machine and with what kind of dongle, especially as XP and 32-bit things get older and older and less supported. Sometimes it's hard to find a, a driver to support those devices on, on Windows XP. But uh, luckily for us, most of these things that we use in Windows XP to connect with serial and other things are usually older things, so we can usually get those supported. Just keep it in mind. Next thing I want to talk about is what if I have, what if I do actually have a serial port on my laptop? I'm gonna to go to VM and settings. Remember this is, this is the virtual machine's hardware. Now we have to map that, that physical port, that physical serial port as a piece of hardware inside our VM. And you'll notice if I try and do this, by the way, there's serial and parallel here. So I'll mention both of those. If I want to do this, it says it can't do it until it's powered off. So I'm going to power the virtual machine off just by shutting down like it's a normal computer. Okay, now that that's shut down, if I come back to VM and settings, see my hardware again, say add. And I can select that serial port. And I do want to use a physical serial port on the host in this case. Say next. And I don't actually think this is a real serial port on my host because I, 
my laptop does not have a serial port, but something has given me this COM port, so I'm going to select it. Now on, on your computer, you'll want to make sure that the, the COM port that you select is the right COM port for your application. So yes, finish, and now I have a serial port on my virtual machine. So if I say OK, I'm going to come back over and boot this up again. And we're booted back up, so I'm going to go to, again, the control panel and system hardware to get the device manager. And I'm going to look over here at my ports. And you remember one of these, we did have one before. So this is the one that I just added, and I can double click on it, and I can change the port settings. I can mess with the driver if I want a different driver installed for it. And under the port settings, if I could click on advanced, I can change which COM port this is. Along with some other things that usually we, won't, we don't mess with. Now a note, I haven't been able to find a definitive reference for whether these settings here will trump the settings that you have on your host machine. Because remember, you're talking about using a, using a physical port on the host that has this same configuration inside of Device Manager on your host. And now we have this configuration again on the Device Manager inside of the virtual machine. I, I don't know how those play together. And I haven't been able to find a good answer on that. So I typically, if, in the rare cases when I want to connect a, a physical port to my virtual machine for serial purposes is I'll, I'll set these settings the same on the host and the virtual machine just to make sure that that they don't fight at all. Well, that's all I've got on serial. Get out there and connect to some old machines.